There's the hotspot list. They update it about every couple of months. So this is up updated as of no September 1st. So probably beginning November we'll get another one. Uh, my name is Derek Miller. I'm a location coordinator at Law and Order SVU. I've been doing this since um, August of 2006. We all together as a team sort of brainstorm and try to come up with ideas. We also work with uh, the designer and the art director to try to come up with uh, places that we think together we could work with. The, I mean, like definitely the post office was an interesting location because I mean, it's if you've ever been and seen the Eighth Avenue post office, that's the JAF station on Eighth Avenue and between thirty. First and 33rd Street. It's a kind of an iconic New York building. It's got the classic structure and it also has the, uh, the post office slogan across the top. We used it as a courthouse steps, so we didn't want to show the post office slogan. We didn't want to use it as a post office. We called it a courthouse, but it has that similar look and style. But it's a beautiful building and it's got great um, stone steps in the front and the columns. And it was interesting because, because we've not worked at least to my knowledge, we never worked with the United States Postal Service as a film location in the past. The way we secure the locations is we first reach out to them, make sure that they're open to the idea of filming. Um, then we send a detailed letter with outlining our plans, um, what we'd like to do, what we'd like to request permission to do. And once we get through that step, then I work with the Mayor's Office of Film, Theater, and Broadcasting, MOFTB for short, and make sure that it, the city will allow us to film because they have certain, certain areas in the city that have just been overfilmed, and so they ask the productions stay away from them and we call it the hotspot list um, and as long as it's not on the hotspot list and the city has no issues then we then put together a location agreement and we send that together with a certificate of insurance and um, the, a more detailed letter just saying here's exactly what we want to do here's the contract that you're giving us permission to do it and then here's what compensation we'll be able to offer for filming and tell me a little bit about this hotspot list the hotspot list is, as you can imagine, um, the city gets a lot of filming and certain neighborhoods get more attention than others and the city council representatives that live in that neighborhood, they will reach out to the mayor's office and say, we need a little bit of a break because there's been a lot of productions filming in our neighborhood. So the city will then put together a list of neighborhoods that are, that are encouraged to stay away from just because they've had a lot of filming of multiple productions, whether it's commercials, features, music videos, photo shoots, or episodic television shows. And they just put together on this list and just say, please avoid these neighborhoods. And they delineate it by streets. So just stay out of this area you know, with these cross streets. And after a certain number of times, sometimes years, then those neighborhoods will then come off the hotspot list because they're welcome willing to work with filming again. So give me an example of some places that are on that list. Um, one of the neighborhoods that has had a lot of filming that's recently, it's portion of it is still on the hotspot list, but it's come off to a degree is uh, Dumbo, the area underneath the Manhattan Bridge. It's got a very unique look. It's got some cobblestone streets and it's got the arches of the Manhattan Bridge over overhead. And so it's naturally beautiful for a, a desirable location for lots of film productions to come to want to come to. But because of that, it's gotten a lot of attention. And so the residents said we need to have a little bit of break. And they have been on the hotspot list for a little while. Probably about a year ago, 
um, a section of it came off the hotspot list because they had gotten the you know, gotten the relief that they were asking for, and so just another, a smaller section of it is still there because they just do not want filming back in that neighborhood for a little while. <coughs> and um, but again, it's just because of the, the, the look of the neighborhood because it's a classic New York look, and you've got the Manhattan skyline behind. So it's just a it's a neighborhood that a lot of people want to come to.